got a <coughs> new tube here. I've got to put on this rim and tire. I'm going to try and experiment now. I don't have a rim strip. So I'm going to use this here. This is like what they um, strap the uh, cartons with. Uh, and use that in here. Wrap it around. And then I'll use a piece of bicycle inner tube. I'll cut a piece of this to wrap on top here. Let's see how that works. I used two pieces of double-sided tape to put here and here. Then I'm going to put the uh, piece of strap that I cut to secure it. Got a little piece of inner tube here. Stuck the valve stem through so I could hold this. I made a hole on it. Made a hole on it here. I'm gonna drape it around. And make another hole on the other end. Where the regular tube valve stem is gonna go through. I'm gonna make another hole. Gonna make another hole here. And that's how it's going to be. All right, then I'll put my tube in, take this here out, and I'll put my uh, tire in. Got one side of my rim, of my tire in here, in the rim. Now the other side, which is open, I'm going to put the tube in. I've got the tube in, aligned it with, aligned the valve stem with the valve stem hole. I'm going to take this out, which was just a holder for the rim strip that I made, and I'll put the valve stem through. So I align them inside of here, and as I push my two valves in through, this one came out. Now I'm going to use this tube, this uh, tool that came with the tubes. I've got two of them. I got one in here already. I'm just going to spin it around, and that's going to that's going to sink the tire into the rim. Now I've got both sides of the tire in, inserted in the rim. I'm going to go ahead and pump it up now. Got a little bike pump that I bought from Timu. Really mini bike pump with the Schrader valve in there. And simple operation just up and down to pump it up. Started to put some air in it, but you notice how that's kind of crooked, that valve stem. I'm going to let some air out, straighten it up, and then pump it up again. I took some of the air out of the tire so I could spin the, the tire and get it straight. Now I'm going to pump it back up again. And that's what it looks like. Got it pumped up real hard. Enough for me, my weight when I'm riding. And there's my valve stem.
here. I'm going to check the pressure now, see what we got. Showing like 30. Uh, no, 25. That's good enough. I'm going to put it back on the bike now. Put my dust cap back on the valve stem. I took a piece of this kind of felt material and I put it in here in the rim in the on the axle. So as the wheel turns, it's going to keep this part polished with the friction. I did that on the motorcycle front wheel. Before I put the wheel back on, see here, this is the left side and that's the brake cable there. I'm going to switch these two cables around and make this the front brake. Right now, it's the back brake. I'm going to set it up like motorcycle, right side, front brake left side, rear brake. All right, got the wheel back on there. Gotta put the nuts on. Now, it takes a nut and a washer. If you notice, the washer has two sides, smooth side and the side with the grip. So the side with the grip, goes in up to there and then the nut goes on here and same thing on the other side so I'm gonna do that and tighten it down all right so we're all tightened down got my brakes hooked up again as you guys see that thing that I put on there it'll keep that axle clean and dust free and notice the orientation of this here so when I'm riding this this here is towards the front of the bike and I got my brakes adjusted All right, that's about it. Thank you very much, guys. Bye now. Well, I brought it outside just to show you what it looks like. MTX, I don't know what brand that is, but that looks like Lufthansa. There's MTX there. Is that thing I put on the axle? Got a kickstand. Five speed. Nice little bike. Uh, you know what I got this bike? I traded my Marlboro Unlimited Fuji folding bike for this because. The Marlboro bike was too big. Takes up a lot of space in my apartment. Here's my bell. And this is the shifter for the uh, five speed. Let me spin it around. This bike was nearly practically new. It was laid up, nobody was using it. And traded it with one of the supers from the uh, building around the neighborhood. You can see, hey, 
It's a 125, just like my motorcycle. And this is the front wheel I just put the new tube in. Alrighty. So, that's it, guys. Take care. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.